What do you do with leftover chicken? You make this delicious chicken salad that you can serve three ways. Are you ready? Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. One of the ways that I like to repurpose leftover chicken is to make this delicious chicken salad with an Asian flair. It's actually really easy, and the secret is in the sauce, so we're going to make that first. We're using a quarter cup of mayo, and you can use uh, Japanese mayo if you like here. I'm just using regular mayo. I would estimate about two tablespoons of mayo per chicken breast size, so maybe about a cup and a half of cooked chicken. So you can scale this down or scale it up to however much chicken you have. One teaspoon of soy sauce, just regular soy sauce. Two teaspoons of sesame oil, and this is what's gonna give it the Asian flavor. And about a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. And we're just gonna combine all of this together before adding the chicken. I have two leftover chicken breasts. We don't really like chicken breasts, but I will definitely eat chicken salad made with the breasts. So I'm just gonna cube it. You can even shred it if you like, depending on how you want to serve your chicken salad. Hey dude, do you remember having this Asian chicken salad or actually something similar at our wedding served at the luncheon? Do you remember that? Uh, no, I don't remember much at all. <laughs> I'm gonna transfer this chicken over to the mayo sauce and we're just gonna stir it all in. Yeah, that is plenty of mayo to cover the chicken. We're gonna let the chicken absorb all the sauce while I chop up some herbs. I'm adding some green onions. Sorry for the ugly green onions, but this is what I had left in the fridge and I'm gonna use it up in the salad. So probably the amount of one green onion. I'm just gonna finally chop it. You can leave it like this or chop it down some more. I'm gonna chop it down just a little bit more. I think that'll be better for mouthfeel. Yeah, I think so too. And if you don't have green onion, you can chop up a little shallot or just regular white onion, totally up to you. But green onion works really well here. I'm gonna throw this into the chicken salad. I guess it's not salad yet, it's just chicken. I happen to have some chives growing in the garden, so I thought I would add some of that. Totally optional. Okay, moving the chives over to the chicken. These are the leaves of about six stems of cilantro. And cilantro really does make the salad, so I wouldn't omit it, but I know there are some people that are like anti-cilantro. So for you guys, you guys don't have to add it. and about a tablespoon of roasted sesame seeds. And if you don't have roasted sesame seeds, you can just toast some on a pan, and then you'll have roasted sesame seeds. Give this a good stir to make sure all the ingredients are combined. Here's the first of three ways you can serve up this chicken salad. I just have a very simple salad that I cut up. You can use pre-mixed salad and you can eat it plain with the chicken salad on top or you can drizzle a little bit of dressing on top. So I'm just gonna show you how to make a very simple dressing for this one little salad. Just one teaspoon of soy sauce. One teaspoon of rice vinegar. and two teaspoons of oil. Just give that a quick stir. Okay. And then we're just gonna drizzle that onto the salad. So all together it makes just over a tablespoon of dressing. Then we can just scoop some chicken salad on top. 
That's it. Option number one. A second option is just simply eat it like a lettuce wrap. So we're just going to spoon some of this into a piece of lettuce. And I'm using a romaine lettuce, but you can use whatever you like. I saw some butter lettuce at Costco this week that would be really great for this. You don't want to fill it up too much, but we'll just roll it up. And we'll just stick a toothpick in there to hold it in place. And the third option is to eat it in a sandwich. So we have a toasted brioche bun here. I'm going to put just a little bit of mayo on one side of the bun. You don't have to if you don't want to. And spoon some chicken salad on the bottom. Well, that's pretty generous already. What are you going for? Right? It? Why not? Yummy. And put our lettuce on top and our bun. Ta-da! Does that look good or what? So we made three light options and look at how much chicken salad we still have left. Of course, if you're hungry, you can eat more. So it's not like you're limited to the small portions I've made today, but I know you guys are all just waiting for. The taste, it's a warm one today. So having uh, a meal that is uh, no cook is like fantastic, right Flo? Absolutely. And uh, I'm hungry and my stomach is growling, so this is perfect timing. Let's start with the chicken salad on salad. Is it like a salad inception? I'm always digging on these Asian flavors because um, it's just so versatile, you know? And uh, it's healthy with the salad and I prefer bit of the dressing on there instead of just the chicken salad on the veg, but some may uh, think that um, the chicken salad itself has enough flavor. So good. That chicken salad is popping with flavor. And with that um, bit of dressing, it adds the contrast of some acidity to it, contrasting with the savory flavors of the chicken salad and the mayo. Next up is the uh, chicken salad in the lettuce wrap. Super uber simple for, especially for those who don't want any uh, carbs in the mix. And I'm just gonna take a little bite. Yeah, maybe this is more fun for the kids to eat too, you know? Kind of like um, in a burrito taco form. Last up is in a sandwich. These brioche buns are fantastic. Soft and when they're toasted, a little bit of crisp on the outside of it. This is easy to eat too. Yeah. Mm. What can I say? Chicken salad in a sandwich? Yum. All right, dude, so which one was your favorite? So that's a little bit of a difficult one. I do like the, uh, the sandwich, but I think today on an extra warm day, I'm looking forward to getting in on the rest of the salad, Inception. Awesome, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of leftovers, so I will always try to repurpose leftovers into something different. For the perfect chicken recipe to have leftovers, check it out, I will see you over there.